Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Fig Madeira. So my little green room is already producing some results for me. So I just wanted to go through and show you just in the last few days, how we've managed to ripen some figs. This is the Neverella. I'm gonna pick this guy. And we're basically running, look at this beauty. I would have not had a chance outside. This thing would have just been messed up. Um, and the temperature was just too cold outside. Like we're running in this room, 22.9, 23 Celsius, which is around 74 Fahrenheit. On the higher level, 24, which is around 75 Fahrenheit. The humidity runs at the room at 51. Um, uh, all the trees seem very happy. And you can see this is one of the figs that I got. Let's continue going around. Because today I have to make a choice on my LSU purple. Uh, we're going to probably, because it's been ripening figs and we're slowly been stealing them off the tree. Um, but I want to show you here. I have the Atriano. Look at the Atriano. Atriano's ripening right up. If I can reach this little guy. Look at him. This is an atriano. This is like a honey fig. You know what's funny? I did a video on this, uh, a tasting, but I never posted it because one of my um, kind viewers expressed to me to sharpen the knife. And it was one of those examples of me messing up the fig tasting. So we're going to cut this guy open just because I want to show you how this honey fig is actually like strawberry strawberry color inside and the brie buzz on the atriano they uh it turns out that's how they look when you get the main crop on the beautiful atriano if i can show you that well it's hard to see among all this but on the main crop of the atriano um which i don't have any uh they tend to be amber which is what we expect from a honey fig but again, there. this is an extra bonus fig that I got that I wouldn't have had outside. Um, the Beer's Black, we're still working on that. I mean, it's only been a couple of days. The Peter's Honey is slowly ripening, but I don't believe, actually, let's take a look here. And this is, you guys, the excitement of having them indoors is you're getting little, little morsels of, of beauty. Look at this guy, I think he's ready as well. It's a, it's a beautiful fig. Let's see if we can pull him off. I'm worried that it might not be 100% ripe. Let's let this guy sit for a little longer. Oh, he looks ready to go. Um, yeah, let's see here. Let's pull him out. I don't care. Let's get this guy out of here. This is a Peter's honey. You can see, you can see this. I pulled him out a little too early. So a little bit of milk coming out and uh, that's all right. Um, I'm really excited to pull these figs and, but that's okay, he's gonna be good. So this is a Peter's Honey. I'm gonna show you this one. This is an Italian Everbearing and this one's just growing immensely. Like these figs go from this small size, you can see this one right here. And then look at it, just like in a few days, it just goes crazy. Um, but he still needs time. We have been raiding the LSU purple fig. And look at these, all these guys. Let's get this guy off. This is an LSU purple. And let's get this guy, there's another one. Let's get him off. Look at that. And I think more ripening? No, but we're gonna go to the, let's put these guys down here, to the I-258. This, this, you know, I was looking, you guys, I wanted to show you something. Look at how now the honey, if it will focus, is, is like dripping off the, uh, you see the honey is dripping all the way down the stem. I mean, this this uh, fig tree just is something else I can. Look at this. And look at this drop of honey on this thing. 
It is something else. I've been dying for this fig. This is an I-258, guys, that, again, normally I would not have been getting so lucky as to have this. There's several other fruits on the tree still. Um, so as I was mentioning earlier, what I do is I bring these trees in, even if it's uh, for one or two fruits, if it's one of the trees I really love. This is the strawberry verte that I am so excited about. Um, and uh, it should be ripening pretty soon. It's figs, these still aren't really ready. Um, but this tree here, this LSU purple, it still has a few more figs on it, um, but it ripened the majority of them. And, and I am gonna take it outside. We're gonna trade it up with my uh, uh, Petite Negra that's uh, still outdoors. And we're gonna put it in its place. So my friends, I just wanted to show you that, you know, just by bringing this, these trees in for the last few days, th this is my results. And uh, I, I will do the extra work to get uh, the, this kind of results from my future. Look at this, this is a baby Smith. It's growing another fig. I can't believe it, just adorable. And I will keep you posted on everything that's ripening indoors. And really what I'm trying to establish guys is that whenever you have a tree that still has few figs, you love it, you've been taking care of it, all year round, it really doesn't require much. You can get it a grow tent, or you can get it one of these high bay LED lights, just one of them. And if you put it at the right height, 12 inches or 24, you'll achieve the right uh, temperature and the right lighting to at least get your figs to uh, uh, mature, you know, just to, to ripen and, and finish what they wanted to do. And I find that it's not really the light that's doing this, it's the, it's the heat. It's running at that 74, 75 that makes a really big difference. Look at this, this is a, a Negroni here. Let's see if we can get the Negroni off. The Negroni, this one's ripe too, if I can pull them off. This one's ripe as well. So you, you see, we just keep getting figs off these trees. I thank you all for watching. I just wanted to share this moment with you and uh, I will keep you posted, especially on the uh, strawberry verte when it ripens its figs. Take care everyone, I'll see you next time.